Uh, the battle for the Republican nomination heads into a new phase. Both candidates demand the other step aside from their roles involving the election process. 41 Action News reporter Sarah Plake is live in Topeka. What are Chris Kobach and Governor Jeff Collier saying today, Sarah? Well, they're just going back and forth with one another, sending out one news release after another in response to Collier's accusations that Kobach is acting improperly while advising all these counties on how to handle and count these votes. Now, in such a tight race, it seems like both sides are being as technical as possible. Secretary of State Chris Kobach responded with a lengthy letter Friday afternoon to accusations from Governor Jeff Collier that Kobach's office gave inaccurate advice to Kansas's 105 counties on counting and handling votes. Well, I, I want to remind everyone first that the state does not make the actual determination on if a ballot counts or not. That decision is made at each of the 105 counties. Kobach and his state director of elections, Brian Kasky, deny that. Kobach called Collier's words, quote, unrestricted drained rhetoric, but announced he'd temporarily recuse himself from his election duties at Collier's request. Collier said in a previous news release that he's aware that Kobach's office is telling county clerks to throw away mail-in ballots that should be counted. Collier is now sending a representative from his campaign to each Kansas County canvas, which will be certifying the election results next week. Kasky says in a conference call with Kansas counties, they talked about what needs to be on a ballot for it to legally count. Our instructions were absolutely correct. There's a very specific law on this, I think it's KSA 25-1132B, that states that uh, advanced ballot by mail must have a postmark or other indication that it was postmarked on or before election day. It requires a mark. In Kobach's letter, he pointed out that Collier is a member of the state canvassing board and in a not so subtle jab stated he has confidence that Collier would recuse himself as well so he doesn't need to publicly ask him. Collier did not say that he would recuse himself but responded to Kobach's letter saying Kobach handing off his duties to the second in command also poses a conflict of interest. Official results still trickling in, but not those provisional ballots. Those will be counted and handled next week when each county's canvassers are meeting, and we will stay on top of that. At the State House, I'm Sarah Plake, 41 Action News.